Fashion designer Tori Burch launched her company from her kitchen table in 2004. This morning, the brand is worth more than $3 billion with 168 stores worldwide. Her label is sold in more than 50 countries, and Birch is not only seeing success with sales and the company's signature style, in 2009 she created the Tory Birch Foundation to empower female entrepreneurs. And only on CBS This Morning, Birch is here to announce the launch of the Foundation's Fellows Program. It will offer entrepreneurs access to education, mentoring, and networking. Participants will get the chance to compete for a hundred thousand hey. dollars. Tori Birch, welcome back to the table. Thank you. Let's first start with this because you've built this incredibly successful company, but how hard was it in the beginning to be an entrepreneur? What were some of the biggest challenges? I mean, I would say it's so hard every day. It was, Still is. It's excruciating at times. It's, I'm passionate about it, but it's one of the hardest things you can ever imagine. And was funding, was money, funding, investments Funding, in starting? the beginning, I had to figure out how to get funding, and we ended up going to about 130 people, and that, that was our initial raise. Mm -hmm. And you told people, don't be afraid, don't invest money that you're not afraid to lose. I was so scared of losing <laughs> friends' money, family yeah. members' money, so I said, please invest, but I really want you to just think of it as an investment that will never come back. And you told, <laughs> you say the lesson now is to embrace your ambition. Well, yeah, I mean, the first article that was written on our company, a friend that I admire in business called me up and said she liked the article, but I shied away from the word ambition. And mm -hmm. it was something that really stayed with me, and I thought a lot about that. And over the years, I've really learned to take ownership in that word and, yeah. and feel proud of it. Because, Tori, they never say a man, he's so ambitious. He's too ambitious. Mm -hmm. He needs to settle down. Nobody ever says that. Why do you think you, you were reluctant to embrace it at well, first? Well, there's such a negative connotation yeah. to ambition and women. And I think that has to end. And I think that we need more people to really stand up and say that. I, I see the same people profiled, and that's one thing our foundation wants to really also address, is really showing other women that are doing great things. I see the same 10 women and the same profiles yes. over and over again, yeah. and there's so many wonderful women doing significant mm. things. I always think what's so interesting, what I've learned about you, is when you started your company, though, this was uh, you know a fashion company, but at the same time you had philanthropy on the same track. That was part of the original business plan. You first started doing something with Bank of America, right? And well, yeah, so Bank of America happened just a, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. But five years ago, um, we launched the foundation as part of the business plan, but we knew that we'd have to have a successful company in order to be able to do it. So um, it took us many years to be able to do that. And um, since then, we've partnered with Goldman on an education program, and Bank of America is a significant partner. Um, and we've had really wonderful traction with them. And I just heard news yesterday that by January, January, we will have given out $10 million in loans wow. to oh, female entrepreneurs congrats. in the United States. So I know so many moms. I know so many moms. I have a friend back in Washington who's starting like a cookie company for interesting that's gluten free. So a lot of women are listening to say, I want to start my own company. How could they learn more about this fellowship? to be involved to learn from you? Well, ToriBirchFoundation.org is the best place. We are launching today. We are going to screen businesses and narrow it down to 30 businesses, and then we're going to open it up to the public to vote. Mm -hmm. And then we'll narrow that down to 10 people that will get a grant that will go towards education for their business. And they can do it in any which way. One of the significant finds that we have found is that female entrepreneurs that we work with have very little knowledge about general finance. You said um, it's not about charity, it's about empowering women. It's about empowering women. Let's talk about you and empowering you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I could use a little empowerment. Exactly. So I'm here. Um, <laughs> That's what Charlie does. He makes, he makes us feel good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Every day. I'll leave now. Did you have a question, dear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Very hard to get one in, isn't it? <laughs> We're your, ambitious. Well, and, and, and I celebrate Celebrate that, as I know, you know. I know yeah. uh, tell me what you want to do with this company. I mean, you're talking about a new sportswear line, but generally, what is your now? Now that you have traction, then you have success, and now you have the foundation underway as well, and you're encouraging others to do that. What does Tory want for Tory and for her company? 
I mean, I am so passionate about our company. I want to see the company flourish, and that doesn't mean just growth. I think it means the right kind of growth, and it's a very tough environment right now, so it's a good time to take a breath and really look at the company and look at the future and the way the environment is changing, technology is taking a big play on all of our businesses. So it's really how do we set the company up for the future. And it's global, too. And it's global. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of keepers, a lot of takers for you, Tori Birch. Yeah. We I had a business idea, I'd be calling you. Thank you very and I, much. And I would invest. Thank you very much. You're, you're watching CBS this morning. We'll be right back.